Imagine walking into a bee yard and hearing music. No smoke, no disturbance. Just a quiet hum of sound waves vibrating through the hives. It sounds like a sci-fi experiment, but it is a real American innovation developed by one man whose idea changed everything. This is the story of Mark Ellison, a small town beekeeper from North Carolina who increased his honey production using nothing more than frequency vibrations. Let's begin. Mark had been keeping bees for nearly a decade. He loved the work, but every year he hit the same ceiling. His colonies were strong, his bees were healthy, but honey production barely moved. Good season, bad season, nothing made a meaningful difference. He added more wildflowers. He upgraded hive boxes. He tried organic boosters. Still, the numbers stayed the same. One night, while watching a science video about how researchers communicate with whales using sound, something clicked in his mind. If sound waves can influence ocean animals, he wondered, what about creatures that communicate through vibration? Bees don't listen with ears. They sense vibration through their legs and bodies. Mark knew that bees communicate by sending tiny vibrations through the comb. That idea pushed him deeper down the rabbit hole. He began reading scientific papers from U.S. universities, research labs in Europe, and beekeeping journals across the world. The one thing that stood out was this. Certain low-frequency vibrations helped reduce stress in bee colonies and improved hive coordination. Not magic, not guesswork, science. Inspired, Mark decided to run his own experiment. He built a simple setup using an old Bluetooth speaker, a small amplifier, and a frequency generator app on his phone. Nothing fancy. He placed the speaker under one hive, set the frequency between 250 and 300 hertz, and let it run at a very low intensity. No music, no bass. Just a soft, steady hum of vibration. Within minutes, he noticed something unusual. The bees became calmer. The loud, defensive buzzing faded. Their movements slowed. The hive felt steady, almost focused. Later that afternoon, a gust of wind shook the yard. Every hive reacted with agitation except the one sitting on top of the speaker. That hive stayed balanced and quiet. For Mark, that was the moment he knew he might be on to something. He expanded the trial. Two hours in the morning, one hour in the evening, every day for several weeks, he kept detailed notes. Flight patterns comb building speed, queen activity, foraging rhythm, internal hive temperature, stress levels. By week two, the changes became obvious. Bees were building comb faster. Nectar conversion improved. The queen laid eggs more consistently. Hive traffic looked cleaner and more organized. When Mark finally cracked open the hives after the first month, he stepped back in disbelief. The vibration-supported hive produced 27 to 30% more honey than the others. This was not a minor bump. This was a breakthrough. Still cautious, he ran the trial again the next two months. Every time the results repeated, higher yield, calmer bees, more efficient hives. So why did it work? According to entomologists Mark later consulted with, bees naturally communicate through vibration signals transmitted across the honeycomb. When a hive is stressed, those signals become chaotic. When a hive is calm, the signals stay steady. Mark's low frequency sound waves acted like a stabilizer, not loud enough to disturb them just enough to support their natural communication. The bees wasted less energy, stayed focused longer, and performed tasks with better efficiency. That meant more nectar gathering, more comb building, and more honey. After refining his method, Mark began sharing his results at local beekeeper meetings. Some laughed at the idea, some doubted it would ever work, but the ones who tested it saw similar improvements. Soon, agricultural researchers from a nearby university visited his farm to study the method. Early trials confirmed parts of his findings and opened the door for deeper research into vibration-based beekeeping. Mark didn't expect fame. He only wanted to give small beekeepers a low-cost innovation that actually worked. Today, he runs a successful honey business with stronger colonies, better yields, and healthier hives. And it all began with a single thought most people would have ignored. This story proves that innovation doesn't always require big technology. Sometimes it only takes curiosity and the courage to test an idea that sounds a little crazy. Farmers across the country began calling Mark to understand his method. 
Many were surprised that such a small change could create such a measurable impact. Some even reported fewer hive losses during stressful seasons. Word spread, and small beekeepers started testing frequency-based setups of their own. The results weren't identical everywhere, but the trend was impossible to ignore. A simple vibration had become the start of a quiet revolution in American beekeeping. If you enjoyed this story and want more real-life farming innovations used by farmers, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want the next video on a specific innovation, comment your topic below.